This is the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee War for Cybertron Trilogy Worlds Collide 4-Pack Nemesis Primal, Fangry, Bumblebee, and Black Arachnia. I picked up this set at our toys. Let's take a quick look at the back of the packaging. Looking absolutely fantastic. For this review, we will be focusing on Nemesis Primal. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Nemesis Primal out of packaging. And boy, this figure looks absolutely terrific. I honestly did not think this repaint was going to work. I mean, a lot of odd colors splashed on to the Optimus Primal mold, turning him into like what they did with Optimus Prime into Nemesis Prime. This is the same vein. He obviously did not appear on the show, but man, it works. And I always say this about repaints. They've got to nail that new redeco, those new colors for the repaint to work. And they absolutely nailed it. They hit it out of the ballpark with this one. I love this redeco of the Optimus Primal mold into Nemesis Primal. A ton of these metallic teal uh, silver paint apps, purple paint apps, the red, the muted red just complements all that Nemesis Prime or Nemesis Primal colors on this figure. Just gorgeous. Look at that uh, really nice Predacon symbol. Neatly tempoed on that chest. And what they really, what I think they really really did here they really did well with this figure is this new nemesis primal head sculpt it could pass as a nemesis prime and that's the money shot that's what's selling uh this figure in my opinion this brand new nemesis primal head sculpt oh my goodness i think if, if you had if you could modify your figures this could easily pass for a nemesis prime head sculpt just absolutely gorgeous it's just painted with silver you got some red glossy uh, plastic for the eyes silver on the crest and just this really nice matte sort of matte finish on the black plastic i love it okay now in case you didn't already know uh this figure is the as i mentioned the redeco of the Optimus Primal Mold. And this is the, speaking of the Optimus Primal Mold, here he is. This is the first version. This is the Voyager class Optimus Primal, not the two pack with Rat Trap, obviously. And look how great they did that. I'm glad they changed the head sculpt. The weapons look a lot better than what they did here. I mean, obviously the colors are different, but in terms of the quality of the paint apps, the premiumness or a premium feel of the figure, this just beats that figure. Oh, I cannot stop gushing over this figure. So yeah, very, very cool. Let's get him out of the way for the time being. Okay, he's the star of the show. He does retain all the gimmicks that Optimus Primal had, the blasters right here on his shoulders that go, they can fold on the back. Backpack, we'll do that later. He still has these uh, arm missile launchers or arm blasters. He still has one here as well. And I love that they painted it in the same metallic teal uh, paint apps that they used for the entire figure. Look at this. Predacons terrorized. So yeah, in terms of mold degradation, the figure is tight. There's hardly any loose joint except for the bicep. Uh, I think it's already, that's really a function of the design of the way the, the mold has been made. The bicep tends to be loose, even on the Optimus Primal figure, but everything is tight. Fingers, feet, legs, very, very cool. Okay, so let's get him into his beast mode. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Fold those weapons back. And... Oh. oh, man, that's tight. Always tight the first time you do it. Okay, I've not transformed this figure. This is the first time we're doing it. So expect everything to be super tight. And fold this like this. Okay, fold that back in, this one like this, 
I'll take this, like this. Okay, and then collapse shoulders at. I'll take those fists. Okay. Okay, and then this one. This one is gonna bend like this. This one's gonna bend like this. Hold that up. Hold that up. Okay, and there we have Optimus Primal in his ape mode. And he's looking absolutely fantastic. I wanted to comment so badly while I was transforming his figure on this incredible gorilla head. Look at that. Very, very nice. Purple face with red beady eyes. This is a gorgeous looking beast mode for Nemesis Primal. Look at that purple they painted on him. The toes, fingers, that chest. Just absolutely gorgeous all around. I am, oh my goodness. This is one amazing, amazing redeco. Here is Optimus Primal as well in beast mode. So both gorillas looking great. It looks so much better. Even the the way they the plastic is done. The black color or shade that they used, I love it. It actually looks a lot better than this grayish type of black that they used for Optimus Primal. Look at that Nemesis Primal ape face. Very cool. Some final thoughts on Nemesis Primal. I think it's an absolutely perfect redeco of Optimus Primal. Uh, they made good use of the mold. They nailed the new paint apps, the new recolors. Absolutely an amazing, amazing figure. If you weren't satisfied with the Optimus Primal figure mold, this figure is not going to change your mind about this mold. You're not going to like it as well. But if you enjoyed this Optimus Primal uh, figure, you are going to love this new redeco. If it's perfectly with this whole uh, canon of the War for Cybertron trilogy, we've got Nemesis Prime, uh, you know, as, as an antithesis to Optimus Prime. It just makes sense for Hasbro to do a toy that was an antithesis to Optimus Primal in the form of Nemesis Primal. I love this figure. This figure is gonna get a nine and a half out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of this buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Nemesis Primal. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.